Shavua Tov, guys. Uh, it's very interesting. We've come out of Shabbat, coming into a new week, and we hear that uh, King Charles has been uh, crowned in St. James Palace today. He's the first king of the Commonwealth in 70 years now. Obviously, the last one being King George. And uh, it's a very transitional period and a very different period, but uh, Bez Roshim, very exciting period also. And we, we know that he, King Charles has been a uh, loud voice against anti-Semitism. He's been, by and large, very, very good for the Jewish community. And uh, it's actually interesting, I was reading today, that a lot of the kings worldwide had a fantastic relationship with, uh, p with the Jewish community and uh, also with Israel. And uh, actually, it was interesting. One time, there was a famous rabbi from the 18th century, of the popularly known as a chida. His name was Rabbi Chaim Yosef David Azulay. He was of Moroccan descent originally, and he travelled around the world. He was a genius. He was a poet also. He uh, wrote tales and uh, stories and was was able to inspire everyone across the world. He was a like a foreign ambassador. And he went everywhere. Met all the royal uh, royalties. Went around England. He went to Tunisia, went all over the world, and he went to France one time, and he ended up by the Palace of Versailles in France, and King Louis the Sixteenth, from a distance where he saw him, and was mesmerized by him, and ran towards him, thinking he was a, a foreign uh, emissary, a foreign ambassador. And there's always been good relationships with the kings, and hopefully it's going to be in this case, with uh, now with King Charles with uh, the Jewish community across the world, Bez Rat Hashem. And I want to wish you all a fantastic week, and uh, hopefully it's fantastic times ahead of us, and ahead of the community, and ahead of Israel in general. Have a fantastic week, guys. Shavuot Avon Barach.